upon a time, there was a girl, and it all started December 5th, 2023. She's got to get ready for an interview with Google. Let's go with her. It was a lovely day, and the sun was shining. The girl made her coffee, got ready and dressed, did her makeup, had her pet fish and ran out the door. But not before a few moments looking at the sky and thanking God for such an exciting experience. The whole day was going to be filled with fun. But first she had to get to that interview. So 2.45. She walked out the door with her hat, scarf, coat, gloves and bag. Took the elevator down and waited for the bus. Arrived at her stop. Walked up the block and then downstairs to the train. Paid at the turnstile waited a few moments and then got on the train. Upon arriving she did not miss her stop. Checking her mapped out directions. Next stop okay. Let's get off. Off the train. Up the stairs through the turnstile up the stairs and out of the train station. Checking herself out how does she look. She made it okay. Let's go chat with her. Quiet look she speaks. I just 
came up with this outfit like five minutes before I was about to walk out the door. My best ideas are like right when I'm getting ready to walk out the door. That's my best, my best outfits. It's like those five minute outfits where I'm like, okay. Cause I was like, I'm gonna wear something that's not gonna be, I don't wanna be cold. I don't wanna be hot. I'm gonna be warm and comfortable, but still kind of cute. So, but these pants are like, I gained weight. I was so surprised I could fit into these. They're tight. So, my thighs are giving. At first, I was starting to think that this was a scam because the way that my um, GPS had me walking the other way, and I was just praying. Cause I even tried to use the search engine button that like zooms in on the street and like tries like tells you exactly what block to turn up. Like make it, it, it is one of one of those apps I have. It literally points you in the direction of this way, so you can go in straight this way. And there's another arrow that goes that way, and there's another arrow that goes that way. And as you're walking, it'll turn like if you don't see the arrow, it'll like tell you not to go that way. So it's just kind of cool. I'm just excited for that. Well, I, I, I've got my straw, but it's cappuccino and there's no milk in here, so. If I shake it, I don't lose. It's a good way. I put like every single phone I had. They told me to bring out like, they told me they needed me to have like, I don't know, bring my phone. Super exciting. So excited. I might need to touch up my makeup because the cold make my eyes run. I always get them in the crevices and then when I do eyeliner, it's over. But if I don't do eyeliner, I'm gonna look ghastly. I'm gonna look like. Ah. <laughs> no features in the page. busy I might not get a plain picture right after 
her right after him, I think. Yeah, we got it. There we go. Yeah. My interview is supposed to be at 2.45. It's supposed to be 245 to 345. Have y'all seen the film yet? Like, have you touched it? Have you, have you seen it? I heard there was a lot of stuff going on with, like, with the uh, phones, because I got an iPhone. So I got, I brought two phones. Yeah, two. One phone that's broken and one phone that's good, but I could still see on both. And the, the one that's broken just started to act up. And then, today, and then, the other phone, the tab, I broke my tab. I'm just happy. I'm happy I made it. Some odd reason it's caramel cappuccino.
Probably two blocks, please. Point seven. Point seven blocks. lost but checked her map which just kept spinning and spinning her directions no longer helped but she left early enough so that she still was able to make it to the address on time went to where the address wa and was pointed to the other side of the building by security as she walked to the other side of the building she checked in with her id she was asked to have a seat and she waited for 15 minutes and then was approached by the interviewer. See her when she gets back. One hour later. Wow. <laughs> and then I want to get y'all this way. And then I actually got to get out of here. So she proceeds to take a few pictures and videos herself and then makes sure she looks good to walk the streets of Manhattan onto her lunch date at Panera, where she still checked her GPS, which was still spinning, and she had to literally zoom into the map for arrows to her destination. Very odd. Very odd indeed. But taking photos and videos of where she has the permission to do so only. Finished her lunch date at Panera, then decides to top it all off at the Starbucks Reserve. Have you been there before? You should go. We're going there now. Let's see what she got. Cocktails and desert. Walking over to Panera. Let's style and profile fast. Looking good. Yeah. Look good. Yup. Yup. Looking good still. Yup. Yup. Stay looking good. Yup. 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 Yeah. Stay looking good. Yeah. Okay, spin. Spinning once and spinning again twice. Yeah. Stay looking good. Yeah. Fabulous darling. Stay looking good. Here's the menu. She has the final say. Tear Fanamacha. 
El Resort Blanco, Tequila Liquor Striga, Verino Mastaya Antica Royal Compia, Lime, Coffee Infused Amarina Cherry. Yummy! With a price point of $20, and that's $21.78 with tax. What a treat! Spin it, spin it, stir that final say. Yes. She somehow managed a reserved how unexpected, but truly lovely. Wait, what's that a tiramisu? What kind? Let's find out. Tiramisu oh, sponge cake dipped in coffee with mascarpone and cocoa. Delicious. With a price point of $12.50. What a nice way to treat yourself. Not cheat yourself. But wait, there's more. But we have to come with next time, cause you still missed a lot. See you next time. Same place. Subscribe or follow her if you haven't already. That's Mac. Miss Mac. Here's the receipts. Where she went the Starbucks reserve. The end.